They call themselves Jordan's Crossing and they are crossing into a new territory of bluegrass. It seems like uh, bluegrass music has gotten a bum rap over the years. Uh, it, it's stereotyped. Uh, people, when they hear bluegrass, they automatically think of people in overalls, you know, and uh, greasy hair and things like that. And uh, we're trying to overcome that image. Uh, bluegrass is a great music. Now, while they're not saying their bluegrass is necessarily greener, they do say it's different. The quintet hopes their unique music with a message reaches a good cross-section of people. I have heard Southern Gospel groups, and we don't sound like a Southern Gospel group. Uh, we uh, kind of, I don't know where we would fit. We, I'm sure the bluegrass world would accept us because it's taken both ways. I don't know how the Southern Gospel world would take us. We're hoping that they'll accept us with open arms. Some of their materials original, while others are refurbished favorites. What we really try to do is we try to look back to the songs that uh, people will probably remember if they hear it, but they haven't heard it in a long, long time. We look through very old song books and hymnals and uh, try to look through some of those and pull them up and work them up into our kind of style of music, to our bluegrass style, to fit our style. Now Jordan's Crossing has crossed all areas of the region with their special kind of music. It's worth all the time and effort for a lot of reasons, but if they had to pick one, it would be a simple one. The biggest enjoyment would probably be seeing the expressions on people's faces. When someone really looks like they're enjoying it, uh, that, uh, that, that's worth it all. You know, you never know what you're showing and you never know who's going to reap, but those uh, instances and occasions when we can be there and uh, someone responds because of our music and makes a decision in their life because uh, that we were there, that's, uh, that's worth a uh, million dollars or more. <laughs> In Cable Country, Tim Cable, Eyewitness News 11, Elizabethton.